Good morning, honey baby angels. I don't know what that was, sorry. Uh, it is Monday, it is a new week, and it is a new month, it's February, and I've decided that my year begins today. So I thought I'd kick it off with a little kind of day in my life vlog. I just feel like vlogging today. A little bit tired, the PMDD is upon me, so I'm feeling knackered all the time. Um, but I thought I would just vlog today a little bit. I um, have a few bits and bobs to do. I've got to do a little workout today. I've been using the Tone and Sculpt app by Chrissy Cella. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is amazing and it's got me working out five times a week. And this will be the end of my third week and I feel so good. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys in case you're looking for a new app to kind of work out. A new workout app. Anyway, Pierre is right here staring at me because he wants to go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah! <laughs> um, so I'm going to just take him for a little walk. I just got this new tracksuit in from ASOS. It's a Nike, Nike tracksuit. How nice is that? They also have it in like a white or cream colour, but I thought I'd go for this more neutral toned one. And it's that same... Um, one with the pleat down the side. I am just obsessed with the fit of these and they are so warm and comfortable. I did have to get the bottoms in a bigger size though because I didn't have an extra small. Size down if you're going to get this because they are oversized. But you know, you just roll up the hem, the cuff, the, the waistband, that's the word I'm looking for, and it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to take this little muffin for a walk now and then I'm going to come back and... I guess see you then. I'm not really sure. So I've got a few things that I need to do today and I don't know where to start, but we'll see. As we'll, we'll just take it as it comes, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to be vlogging. I don't know, I just felt like vlogging today. So um, I hope you're having a great start to the week. I don't know when this will go up. Hopefully I'll get it up in the next couple of days. I've got to edit my next What I Eat In A Day video as well. I have made the roast, you guys. Although the one time that I decided to film it, it didn't go as perfectly as it usually does, but you know how it is when the pressure's on. Sometimes we don't succeed. Um, oh my God, I've had to change change arms. Honestly, these upper body workouts have been killing my arms. Um, what else did I wanna do today? Oh, okay, so I, I think I'm gonna cut my hair. Yeah, we, we might do that today. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go to the park. We're gonna go for a walk and we will see you in a while, chow. This is a mess. But my bed is coming in like eight days. I can't wait, you guys have no idea. Right, I need to make sure I'm properly bundled up. I've got a t-shirt underneath here. I'm gonna whack the North Face on because it's warm. Yesterday, when we went out, it was so cold. Like, you know when it's so cold that the wind literally just feels like ice slipping, slapping your face? It was so cold, my face felt like it was on fire. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but if you know, you know. Um, and literally like I thought my face was gonna fall off it was horrible so today we're zipping this all the way up I'm gonna put my gloves on as well because it's bloody cold I always look ridiculous like when I go for dog walks if you ever see me out on a dog walk please don't judge me or like on a day off where I'm going to the supermarket or whatever please don't judge me because see them days there yeah can't be asked mate can't be bothered I don't always look how I look on Instagram all right it's just a fact that we're all gonna have to face because Instagram is not reality. Life is reality. Good boy. Ah, sit. Down, turn around, down, sit, pull, other one, yes, good boy. Hello, 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 I'm back from the walk, we are back from the walk, aren't we, push, push? Dad's doing a little workout, and I just wanted to share with you guys because I've moved Pierre's, okay, so, backstory, some of you guys know that Pierre um, has like allergies and stuff and he used to be really skinny because he basically had an autoimmune disease because of his allergies, that's what the vet said. And I finally found some food that is actually good for him. And a lot of you guys have probably heard of this, especially if you have dogs already, but it's butternut box. And it's honestly amazing. I get him the beef and the pork because I know that he's not allergic to those things. But they also do like chicken, turkey, fish, 
I think that's all it. They also do amazing treats, which he absolutely loves. And it's basically like a monthly, or I do it every three weeks, um, subscription service. And I'm pretty sure his food costs like two or three pounds a day, like maybe two pounds 60 a day. Um, and it's like substantial. There's really good ingredients in this. For example, this one has beef, ox heart, ox liver, carrots, sweet potatoes, green lentils, red split lentils, peas, cauliflower, broccoli, brewer's yeast minerals, ground flaxseed, dried rosemary. So there's some amazing stuff in there for him. Um, so you kind of know that they're getting everything that they need. And he absolutely loves it. He'll literally do anything I, I ask him to do for this food. Um, so it's been such an amazing transition and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I also have a code which helps me out, but also helps you guys out. I think you get your 50% uh, off your first box if you've never subscribed to them before. So I will leave that on the screen and down below. I'm not working with them or anything, but if you, it, you know, if you were to join them and then give your code to someone else, you'd get the same, I think 50% off your next box, something like that. I'll write it down in the description. I can't remember the exact details, but genuinely this is the best food he's ever had. He hasn't reacted to it at all. And I mean, it looks, it looks pretty delicious compared to like other dog food um, and he seems to love it so yeah if you haven't tried it before um, I promise you your pooch will be over the moon PJ are you hungry? yes good boy sit wait eat Say hello to your fans. Hello, my fans. <laughs> hello, everybody. I just had the funniest chat with my mum. It's always nice to catch up with her. I miss her so much. I haven't seen her for ages. I think the last time I saw her was when I vlogged, which was, was it? I think it was before Christmas. No, it was after Christmas, I lie. Was it? Shit, man, January's been a long month. I'm at my standing desk right now. I showed you guys this in an old vlog. I've got it, I need to find the caps for these wires because they're annoying me. But um, I've decided to stand today because all the workouts that I've been doing, um, I think like the skipping and like the jumping squats and stuff, I think the impact is affecting my knees or it's just the fact that I'm nearly 30. It could be one or the other, we'll never know. Um, so I've decided to stay standing because I, I realize I sit a lot, like I obviously live quite a sedentary lifestyle in terms of like my job and stuff. I do go for walks with Pierre every day and I work out like five times a week now. But um, I think just having my knees bent all the time is really affecting them as well. So I, di I didn't know that I would actually be using this so soon as a standing desk, but it feels quite good and I feel like a bit more productive because I'm not just sitting down like all slumped and comfortable and it's gonna be better for my back as well. I'll link the desk down below if you guys are interested. It is actually amazing and it's such a nice desk, really nice quality. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here going through some emails and doing like a bit of admin stuff right now. I'm kind of delaying my workout. I really wanna do it, but I'm also like, it's very daunting right now. My knees hurt, I'm tired, and the longer I leave it, the less I wanna do it. That's why I always work out first thing in the morning if I can because I'm kind of on autopilot, so I just get through it and before I know it, it's done. But today I'm putting it off. So I've got to do a few bits today. I've got a job for Panasonic for a face steamer. You guys know I love a bit of a face steamer. And I want to do a little PR haul on my Instagram and ask you guys a few questions because I want to do a kind of girl talk video, like I said in my last video or the one before. It depends which video goes up, if, whether it's the vlog or the what I eat in a day. I'm also going to look into getting some therapy because I feel like I've got a, lo a lot of unresolved trauma um, that I need to deal with and I've spoken to you guys a little bit about it before like obviously I'm on antidepressants for my anxiety and because of my PMDD um, that just made my anxiety like tenfold worse so I kind of got to a point where I had to go on them because like my head was out of control. Um, I will do a video talking more about this actually because I think it's really important. So yeah, obviously the, the medicine helps a lot, like the meds help a lot, but I think to like get to the root of it and really sort myself out for good, I need to um, invest in getting like a good therapist and sorting it out. And I'm kind of, I don't know where to go. I've heard that hypnotherapy is amazing, but also just like a general therapist that you can talk to as well. Um, I just need to kind of find the right fit. So that's something else I need to do. And I'm also gonna look into getting um, tested for ADD because, 
yeah I think I need to but the thing is it's related it can be related to anxiety so I don't know if this like the ADD symptoms are because of my anxiety and my trauma or if I actually just had ADD so that's something else I need to figure out as well but yeah that's that's what I'm doing today it's nothing spectacular but I just thought I'd share my day with you today because I felt like it I felt like having a little catch up with you guys um I wanted to talk to you guys about something i've been watching on netflix as well um lupin or lupin lupin sorry not lupin lupin um it's literally i think only like four episodes i'm not even going to talk about what it's about but you y'all y'all need to go watch it it's so good and i love the actor he was in another he was in a movie like years ago called les intouchables like the untouchables and he was amazing in that as well so that is a good movie um and yeah i know it can be annoying to like have to read subtitles but this show is definitely worth it um and i just cannot wait for season two to come out so i just thought i'd give you a little recommendation right there what else do i need to do i need to do my ipl on my legs because i am late on that and i'm trying to stay on top of that i get really lazy with it but i'm trying to stay on top of it so that by the time summer comes around i don't have to worry about that by the way that's just a personal preference i don't think anybody has to shave i just like it and also like sometimes on the back of my legs i can get like uh ingrown hairs on the back of my thighs so i feel like the ipl helps with that what else oh and i want to cut my hair anyway i'm talking rubbish i'm gonna do the few bits and bobs that i have to do i'm gonna import the footage from my what i eat in a day as well so that i can get started on editing that i'm so excited um i'm pretty sure in the first few clips i look like an actual moldy pee so i might have to refilm that i know it's really bad but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do if you're not feeling yourself you, you you gotta you know you gotta change it up but yeah that's really all i've been doing so far um i am just about to put on another round of laundry i've literally managed to get through basically all the laundry finally so that's good i'm also going to be flat hunting today i'm not necessarily going to move out of this flat i didn't want to but it's so expensive um and with more and more people leaving here i know this is crazy but um i'm having to put the heating on more because usually when you live in a building like this and the building's full you don't really have to put the heating on because i don't know why but i guess other people putting their heating on generates heat and i don't live on the bottom floor so all the heat comes up um but that's just extra money and also the rent is just ridiculous for me to be paying alone on top of everything else so yeah there's potential i've mentioned this in my last video i think but i'm thinking of moving cities i'm just gonna put that out there it's not 100 percent confirmed but i'm definitely definitely considering it I've, i don't know if i've spoken about it on my channel before but in real life like anybody that knows me knows that i've been considering and kind of wanting to make this um move for like a few years now but i've just been too scared firstly because i don't really know anyone there um and it is quite far away but i love this city and um yeah it's it's either that or i have to move to the outskirts of london which i've lived in the outskirts of london before i lived in bushy and it just wasn't for me like if i'm gonna not be in london i still want to be in a city so i've been looking at flats and they're literally like you can get the same thing for like half the price where i'm going to so yes that is something that i've been thinking about a lot lately i'd love to see if any of you guys can guess where i might be moving to um but yeah i think it might have to be done especially with everything going on at the moment like i'm not really able to see anyone anyway so it's not like i'd be missing out on that um and you know i can just get the train down if i wanted to or drive down even though the driving is longer than getting on the train and i've been so scared to move to this place for so long just because i don't know anyone etc etc but i feel like i need like a fresh start and I need to get out of my comfort zone and just do the things that scare me because I know that if I do it, I'm gonna love it. Like I, I just know it. So yeah, there's that and like some other life things that I've got going on in my head right now. But um, I'm excited, like I'm really scared or like nervous, but nerves are good. And I need to remind myself of that and I need to get out of my little box and start doing things that I wanna do. And so should you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop rambling on now and do a bit of my admin -y stuff and i'll catch y'all on the flip side i've also just received an email saying that my bed will be here in a week so i'm so excited this is the first today and it should come on the 8th i cannot tell you how excited i am to have a bed or to be getting a bed soon i think i might cry and not leave the bed for like the whole month <laughs> oh god anyway i'm gonna go peace
right, I've been putting it off all day, but I think this is the correct order to do things in. I'm gonna work out before it gets dark because I just need to. I guess I'll show you the moves because I know that some of you guys are interested. And honestly, this is the first app that I've tried that I've been really consistent with, that I really enjoy. I think it's just really like straight to the point, which I love. And the workouts are challenging, but you can obviously um, adapt it to your kind of fitness level. I tried to challenge myself a little bit. I also think it's a change in mindset as well and like having some more free time and space mentally and literally physically as well. But yeah, it feels really good. So I would definitely recommend that app if you guys haven't checked it out before. So good. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys this workout. I'll share this one with you. Um, it's lower body today, my favorite, even though I know it's gonna be killer. Um, hopefully my knees will survive. But let's get it. Okay, so I know it might seem a bit weird that I'm putting shoes on to work out indoors, but if I skip without shoes on and that skipping rope delivers a stinger to my toes, it's, it's just not going to end well. So instead what I'm going to do is wear my shoes and then take them off for when I'm doing like the weight training. Anyway, before I don't get into it, let's get into it. Da -da -da -da, that's a pimp, pimp. No, that's a pimp. The fame, everybody knows my name when I come true. Oh my knees, oh my knees. Oh my god, you guys, that workout absolutely finished me. My whole body is like shaking. I'm just gonna make a quick snack. Um, I'm gonna make a sausage sandwich, but I'm gonna have a more basic version today. You know, the kind of sausage butty that you'll get in the shop. So Richmond, who are like a renowned sausage brand, have made vegan sausages. I tried these before and I feel like they tasted a bit too close to the real thing for me, but maybe I was just having an off day. Um, but they were on offer, they were reduced, so I thought instead of spending more money on like six sausages, you get eight in here, I thought I'd try them again. So I'm just gonna whack those in the oven and make a little ketchup butter sausage sandwich. Basic AF, I know, but that's the vibe that I'm feeling. Um, but I just need to get some food in my body right now. They even look like sausages. Then I'm gonna jump in the shower, wash my hair, and then we're gonna cut our hair or I'm gonna cut my hair please don't do this unless you don't care because I don't know if it's gonna work but it looked pretty good on I think her name's Camilla 
offbeat look she's really cute she's got like colorful curly hair she always changes the color and it's amazing i'll link her instagram and her youtube um but she's such a cutie so i'm excited to give it a go and hopefully give my hair a bit of a refresh because this gotta go this is not it it's the kind of magic saucy sandwich <laughs> Oops. Loud and mercy. Help. I'm scared. Okay, fuck it. No, I'm scared. Okay. 